Welcome to the What More Can I Say podcast, episode 159. Roddy, you starting to start, talk soft again in my bad ear. You know when I eat cheese, my oh, ear calls you, brother. Oh, you had cheese? Yeah, um, I. this is my last week of cheese before I go on my just meat and vegetable diet. No breads, no nothing. Just meat and vegetables, huh? Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, All right, let's go ahead and get to the introductions. I wanted to host Toga Pone. Let's go ahead and get right to it. She is fluffy. She is fine. She is the first lady of the pod, the only lady of the pod. She got movie star eyes today because she Thank got her you. lashes done. Kiki! Hello, woo, friends. Woo. Hey. What's Thank up, you Kiki? for my woo-woo, Zach. How you doing? Woo-woo. I'm good. Woo-woo. Good. And shout out to my movie star eyelashes, Sheena Marie Beauty. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. I shout out to Sheena okay. Marie Beauty. Yes, yes. She do man lashes. She do it all. Mm-hmm. Man she lashes. She can give you. A, she can wax you. She can do your lashes. I don't want to be waxed. That little man lace front I keep trying to get toned to get. She, she do, do those. Too. Stop playing with me. She that. do it all. Whenever she, you ready. I just want to know, can she do beards? Yeah, she can get you a fake beard. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you ever tried to get waxed? Uh, nah, brother, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> Not there. I would never do it there because I got it. I try. I don't to, need to be waxed. Wait I don't. A minute, I don't. Wait, wait. I don't grow a lot of hair. Oh, okay. I'm not where a hairy where guy. would he be getting waxed if he's not getting waxed I get, there? I get. I get. I, I tried get to get my hair. chest waxed before. Oh, okay. All thanks to no, they didn't pay me any money, but you could manscaper. Whoa, that's a man. What? A manscaper clipper. Tell us is about amazing. it. It's a clipper. It's oh, clippers. I got. I got the manscaper clippers to keep my genital groomed. Yeah, that's what I need to stand on the towel. I ain't. I don't. Okay. I don't have as much hair as that man. That man got hair all around. I got hair in two spots. I don't have uh, hair that. Well, I do. You got not like, that's not his like Arabian. Uh, not what is he? Yeah. Indian? Mm-hmm. Arabian or something? I'm not, Puerto Rican. No, I. They I have know, Arabic Cali. backgrounds. Puerto Rican. Yeah. Puerto Rican. Wait, is, wait. I'm not Puerto Rican. <laughs> I'm not saying that no more. But I'm like not, Cali. Y'all see, I'm Nigeria. I'm more Nigerian. We still don't know what you are, Zach. Yeah. yeah. Never Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Let's say we all go down. To the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Who gonna get <laughs> spoke Spanish to first? <laughs> Who? Who you think gonna get spoke Spanish to first? Definitely. You. Definitely. Definitely don't. Kiki. Definitely. No, 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 no. Definitely you. Yeah. 100%. So, oh my God. All right, man. Let's go ahead and be the next member of the pod who's trying to play me. A uh, little bro of the pod, funny man of the pod that gave y'all the best instructions on how to be a broke friend. Yes. Zach Boo. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Zach, woo-woo. that was a Bible. Woo woo. That was a Bible you put out, bro. Woo-woo. That was yeah, a Bible. I mean, it, it's come from experience. That comes from years of studying. You know what I'm saying? That comes from years of being broke. The people say they want you to drop like an ebook. Like just a, they want you to do TED talks on how to be a broke oh, friend. How to survive. I can help you be, more than be a broke friend, be a broke brother, a broke sister. <laughs> yeah, teach you how to be a broke child. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Outside, I can take it further if you they want to expand. Yeah, you know? teaching the people that a broke yeah. student. Yeah, done that a million times. That was a. That was a. That was a. That was some work right there. Yeah. People were like, "Oh, he hit it right up because you did." Yeah. You did, man. And and for those people that were offended, there were a couple people in the comments offended, we don't care. Why would they offended? Why care. they was mad? They, they Who just, cares? Because they got money? I don't know. I don't know, but it was just people a little upset. I don't know. Uh, people get upset. Well, I think they want to be the only angry person and take yeah. everything from the pod seriously. <laughs> yeah. Like, I want to be yes. serious later. Uh, yes. <laughs> Y'all shouldn't be joking on people's financial situations. Oh, God. Look, we all start broke. Once we leave the <laughs> comforts of our parents, guess what? We're all poor. Yes. And our job is to stop that by working hard. Period. Some of us still poor. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into the pod. Um, it, there's some sad news that I saw uh, across the, it just, it, it crossed my um, timeline. I was upset. And it really made me really think that millennials, y'all don't give a shit about nothing. Y'all. <laughs> millennials, <laughs> not the Gen Z. No. Yo, what are you? Millennial? Yeah, you're millennial. I'm a millennial. And y'all have let, what am I? I'm just, I don't know. You're a baby you boomer. He <laughs> <laughs> one of the people from the drought. <laughs> from the- <laughs> <laughs> Tom see, March with Martin. Yeah. <laughs> see, this is see, this is, yeah, is a, see this is the stuff that I have to deal with, and this is Born why things have failed. <laughs> <laughs> this is why things have failed because of y'all lack of respect for tradition. You dirty Negroes. 
<laughs> Y'all have no respect for tradition. We have another tradition that has closed. What? <laughs> or going bankrupt. There's been some that closed, and there's been some that gone bankrupt. First of all, we know the one that closed. Toys R Us. <laughs> Toys R Us closed under y'all watch. How <laughs> does Toys R Us close? Have no clue. How does something like that close? Because <laughs> it's literally a place full of toys. Yes. Literally. A place that wonder. You walk in, you meet it, you met with toys. With you don't have to walk to the toy aisle. It's the whole <laughs> store is full of toys and video games. Y'all want to look at toys on Amazon screen. You like to look at them and not touch them. <laughs> We like to touch them, the little try me button. We shaking stuff. We can throw the ball around the Toys R Us. That's what people bought their first rim, their first big wheel, their first bike. And y'all let that close. It wasn't us. I mean, it's the kids that we had don't go outside. It, so it ain't no use for these toys. Right. And Toys R Us been closed. You just not getting mad about Toys no, R Us? No, because I, what made me, it, it triggered me when I saw that Red Lobster filed for bankruptcy. How does Red <laughs> Lobster <laughs> file for bankruptcy? How? What? First of all, that was the most expensive meal that every black person had first. So I got stuff from going to Ruth Quinn and Maple Ash. Red Lobster is 100% the first expensive meal you ever had in your life. So it's our fault that they closed. Yes. What do y'all go for birthdays? Graduations? Your first date? What the? What are y'all you doing? Ain't, you ain't. You ain't lying. You Wait, ain't, you this, ain't is lying. Like, this is everybody's first date. Everybody's yeah. expensive meal. This is the first place where your parents told you you can't have that. <laughs> That's true. Yep. Don't try to get that feast. Yes. Right. You want yes. that? What's that? Ultimate feast? The uh -uh. Admiral's feast. The Admiral's feast. Yeah. yeah. Doc, do you know how long I waited to be able to order that Admiral's feast? You bro? ordered that? Yeah. I still can't order that. <laughs> <laughs> what all come in there? It's a lot. A lot. That is the first hundred dollar. That's what? the first hundred dollar check you've oh. ever seen in your life. <laughs> yes. oh, God. I took right. What? That's what you took. How do y'all show a girl y'all like them? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. You are not lying. How? That's why relationships failing. That's how they failing. Man. In high school, you wanted to show your girlfriend you liked it. Where you take her? Red, Red lobster. lobster. Yes. yes. You know they get all cheddar biscuits. What? Your first cocktail. You didn't even know was how to order a cocktail. <laughs> but you got that cocktail menu with all of them. You wanted to order the big ass drink that you've been seeing your parents drink and get fucked up. Yes. While they yes. eat with their kids. You telling the truth. And y'all let that place go bankrupt. I, like first it was Bennigan's. Then what? Chili's is about to go out of <laughs> Chili's yeah. about to go out of business. They close the stores. Southwest of egg rolls. Y'all don't like them? I don't now, know. Y'all not now what you're not gonna do is blame that all on Melinda. It is y'all fault. Bennigan's was y'all restaurant. Bennigan's was Bennigan's was y'all. It was. It was. Y'all let Bennigan's go. We did. We let okay. go. And Who we... let old country buffet go? That's Ooh. what I'm upset about. That's your community. <laughs> Big people. <laughs> Big people. The plus size community want to lose weight. They start get, that shame and get Peloton. <laughs> they start getting they start, their weight loss surgery. Yeah, they start getting <laughs> surgeries and lipo. And let, go. <laughs> let the buffets let the go. Buffets go. <laughs> the now, that's, why I, that's why I'm upset. Okay. <laughs> hey, I, need to, I need to talk to who in charge for that, Zach. So you say it's my people. <laughs> it's your people. The plus Damn. size people let Damn. them buffets go. You ain't lying. You ain't wrong, King. You was not lying. <laughs> oh, because buffet is crazy. Y'all let that close, Kiki. <laughs> That's that crazy. That was the birthday spot. That like, was. We, baby, I was eight for three years straight. You know how like, yeah. they cut off the free food at like eight? Yeah. I was eight for three years. Okay. So you were 11. Yeah. I can't believe they let that close. Y'all gonna let y'all millennials or whatever y'all, y'all gonna let McDonald's close. Y'all nah. gonna let, because that, that's the next tradition to go. What are y'all doing, bro? That's true. These kids start not to like Happy Meals. Well, it started it's already. A kid, a kid not like a Happy Meals. They, 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 I would smack my kid if you like that. That's really what they mean. They asking for Chick Fil A. They, these kids is different. Man. But it's also what the the McDonald's. It's also what they did. What the Happy Meal fry? Have you seen it? It's really small now. Ooh. And then they, you know, what I'm saying. You remember how they took prayer out to school? Yeah. They took the playpen out to McDonald's. Oh, I blame Michelle Obama for that. You remember that? They yeah. took the. Ki that's where we had birthday parties. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we got, remember we McDonald's played. birthday parties? Lit! What? I forgot about those. But they took the play pens out to McDonald's. You can't yeah. find one no more with well, a play But that's because it was always somebody creepy-ass uncle hanging out in the ball pens at McDonald's. That's why. 
But I, I, I blame that Michelle is, Obama for the healthy food choices. Mm. They want to put apples in the Happy Meal. That's not. That's not where it belongs. That's Michelle. not where that don't belong in there. Mm. These kids need to wake up with a big back just like I got one. Because <laughs> I, I went to sleep skinny. I woke up one day in fifth grade fat, never looked back. It is all from <laughs> McDonald's. These kids need to experience the same type of thing. Now they got apples and yogurt in their Happy Meals. That's Man. ridiculous. All right, so look. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That ain't a Happy Meal. That ain't a Happy Meal. That ain't, that ain't a Happy Meal. <laughs> no. You thought it, because everybody, well, you, come on now. And we all know it. Your mama packed food. <laughs> right. You threw it away. Yes. <laughs> you threw it away. You be like, yes. you go on a field trip, you be like, I got a hoagie. <laughs> I got two seven ups. I got, right. I got a hostess apple pie and this apple. Nah. nah. <laughs> you trying to Did trade you eat it? The apple? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now I, this is my question. Now, so I found out there is a thing called crunchy curls. Oh, you just learned about those? I just learned about crunchy curls because my generation had had something called Evans chips. Have you ever heard Evans? You gotta look them up. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Evans. <laughs> Did I go Who too far Evans? back? <laughs> Bob too far Evans, back? the only Evans we respect. Like, like, <laughs> and he handled sausage. Oh. So I don't know what you got. Right, going I, I had to show y'all a picture of them. They were delicious. Were they? Evans. Yeah, they were great. Evans chips. That's old school as hell. I ain't it never is. Heard of it is. What kind y'all of bag it come like in? Too. Paper <laughs> brown paper bag. No, they was they were ca- I'm not going to explain they was Evans chips. Bag. All right, let's go back. They had no design. This is what happened because they they make fun of everything. Something's going to close. So it was something for the clothes. We don't take nothing serious. We don't take nothing serious. Take nothing serious. And that's why stuff is closed. <laughs> they don't take nothing serious. Red Lobster's <laughs> bankruptcy because of this. <laughs> because they don't take nothing serious. They don't be like, yo, let, they laugh at it, Cheddar Biscuit. You're right. I like them. All You're right, right, let's go ahead. No, but for real, though, I heard it was because of the endless shrimp. Okay. Nah, nah. They say the no. endless they shrimp. They trying to took blame it out. on the endless shrimp because they don't want us to enjoy the perks of us going to Red Lobster. Uh, I went down a TikTok rabbit hole. It's a property scam that's going on with the Red Lobsters. That's what the lady on TikTok. <laughs> they uh, done bought up all the properties, eh? Who, 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 who bought all the? It's a company. They done bought up all the Red Lobsters. Then made the properties go. They bought the properties, right? Then raised the rent. On oh, Red Lobster as a company, oh. and now they can't pay the rent. Oh, mm. that's dirty pool. So is the company a a, a lobster company as well? Yeah, they, they they, sell so pl- they sell shrimp. So they bought the <laughs> they bought the Red Lobsters to get off their shrimp. That's why they did the endless to get off they. They were trying to get off their work. They sold all their work and then raised the rent on the Red Lobsters. So now, like, oh. Kiki said, this is not an episode of The Wire. First that's, of all. This- <laughs> This don't make no sense. your mind. I just broke it down for you. I swear, you, I don't know nothing more than I knew before you started talking. Uh, exactly. But <laughs> that was terrible. What? what? That's that, the that truth. Was, that was, remember that what was it terrible. did? That didn't hit. That did damn. not hit. Pie yeah, you damn. Y'all do y'all research. Watch what I tell you. Uh, uh, okay, so now let's go. Let's get to this, man. Well, unfortunately, we had mm-hmm. to reach a serious point in the pod. One, about the Cassie and the Diddy apology. We see Diddy apologize on Instagram from the female on the pod when the Diddy woman. popped up. The woman. Did we'll I be out here calling women it's fe- females. It's female, uh, is, uh, is that offensive? Yes, it is. Why? It's just, it's just not, it's like. From a male perspective, does that make me bad? No, it don't make you mad. It don't make you, but you said from the, the female on the pod. Just say from the woman on the pod. So you said from a male's perspective, that would be bad. Yeah, that would be better. From a woman's perspective, that's better. So I, I can't say from the female's perspective? Just say from the woman's. Okay, from the woman. All right, cool. Jesus Christ. I hate, when, she get, feminine, when, when she, she get, get feminine, feminine bag, bag, oh, it's just, God. <laughs> it's just too much feminine. <laughs> you put too much seasoning on your femininity. <laughs> Watch what I tell you. When and, why, y'all and then just, she turns the corner and turns into a, <laughs> it. It happens. And you how, like, do you, how do you be the world's biggest feminist and then be a dude? Yep. What? At the you same hood, time. You are literally a hood dude from the south side yes. and a feminist at the same time. Makes no sense. I identify as a woman. <laughs> as, a, as a woman. So, yeah. I'm just trying okay. to tell you because there's a lot of young dudes out here now, them females. And I was talking to this one female and this one female. D- call her a woman or or something. Don't a female Jesus is rude. Christ. So just so yeah, I'm just trying to. Okay, teach all right, all right. Keep me all straight. Right. All right. From okay. the yes. woman's perspective on the pod, Kiki. <laughs> yes. From a like queen. <laughs> the queen. That's how you got to say that. From a queen <laughs> of the woman origin. 
we want to know your thoughts, <laughs> yes. princess. You got to use all adjectives. Yes. yes. All right. So Grand go rising. ahead. Uh, <laughs> give us your perspective, queen. What is my perspective? On the, on the whole Diddy thing? No, okay. Diddy apologized. When it popped up on your timeline, I know you saw it. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, Diddy, I mean, you got to. Now, Diddy. Now, now Puffy Love. That was not it. Um, you know, you come on the internet with this loose neck t-shirt telling America you didn't talk to the lady. You know what I'm saying? You ain't washed your face. You trying to really give us this this role, sir. You could have kept that. You know, and it's like you you know when you finna get a whooping, so then you try to come and address everything you've done to your mama, all right. Like mom just gonna tell you. So I but I already went to talk to the lady. I got some rehab. I, I I paid my tickets. You know what I'm saying? Like he tried to come like I, I paid already my did. tickets. Yeah, you know, like, you yeah. go to your mama like I already I, I already took care of everything. <laughs> so don't it ain't got to be that bad. You ain't even got to be. That's not gonna work in this situation, Sean. It's just not. And I I the the video, y'all. The video literally confirmed everything we've ever been told about Diddy. We've mm. been told this for years. But that video in that little 30-second clip, you saw the monster that people have called him over the years. And I'm like, you can't make me unsee what I saw. It's like when your man try to tr- tr- like tell your eyes playing tricks on you. Like, no, I saw what I saw. And there's nothing you can tell me that's going to make me think differently than what I saw. But you got to be careful with narcissists because they will convince you with a loose neck t-shirt that they did not do what you saw them do. <laughs> Cause I'm like five minutes ago, Diddy, you told us these people are trying to shake me down for money. I am not guilty of any of that. Yes. I paid her $30 million, but I just wanted to do that out the kindness of my heart. And then two hours later, we see you kicking ass in the hallway. And then you come back and say, I talked to the lady. Now, why would you be talking to the lady if you never did none of these things? Why would you be in rehab if you never did any of the things you said you were accused of? Mm -hmm. So now you didn't lie to me twice. I don't know. I can't go for it. Okay. All right. I mean, that's pretty much the world sentiment about the whole situation. Zach, when you saw Diddy come on with what Kiki calls a loose neck, T-shirt, a bad fashion choice. Yeah, it was. (laughs) Uh, What what were you thinking? It was bad. It was a very bad thing to do. But I do ask the question. What? To y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because this is the pod. I couldn't even say this on the radio. I can say it on the pod because we real. Because we keep it real. When you are caught red-handed doing something evil, you usually lie. Okay? <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not saying it's right. But people lie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you like, what's the name did this, this, this? No, I didn't. They tried to give me for my money. Of course you're going to lie. I don't know too many people who just turn themselves in and just be like, yep, it was me. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I think he was admitting guilt by paying the money. If I am Diddy, I'm not going to go out and say I did it until you got me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all. Zach, <laughs> so you just going to lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to lie. I'm going to lie in the beginning. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I, what you gonna say? <laughs> Hell yeah, I be sex trafficking like a mug. Come on down. Yeah, I be doing it. I be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything go down in my party. Oh my god. Everything. <laughs> Nothing off limits, baby. <laughs> but would you at least? You supposed to lie. Key, he had already paid the fifty grand. Yeah, I done paid thirty million. <laughs> so he thought that video was gonna never see the light of day. Exactly. Well, now that it did hit, now you get. <laughs> The you apo- got me. You got me. Now you get the apology. And I totally understand why nobody is feeling sorry for him about that apology. And he do it too. That's why he ended it with, I'm not asking for forgiveness. Then what the hell are you up here talking for? Right. I, I think you got is. to stop talking. Only thing on a serious note, what Sorry. bothers me though, is he's still trying to save face as Diddy. You yes, know what I'm saying? He's still trying and, to Diddy. And, us. and that's bothering me. Stop trying to be Diddy, bro. At this time, this is a time for you to be shine. This is a time for you to ask for forgiveness, and this is a time for you to go away. You still trying to save your your image and your ditty face, and I I don't like that. It's like everything is a is a move is an another PR move. Devil's after advocate. something. Devil's advocate. And that's that's advocate. bothering. Mm-hmm. Devil's advocate. 
You did. And that makes me feel like you're not genuine when you do that. Well, man, he was never genuine for the first part. You even said it. Like, he lied from the beginning. He paid. He like, yo, I paid to keep this, this quiet. We already know that if you've done something like this before, it's man, probably possible it could have happened again, allegedly, whatever. But the devil's advocate, he still Diddy. Diddy's made more money off of being Diddy, brother love, puff daddy, as the the human being, as the person, as the persona. So he's still trying to save a little piece of it. A little piece of it. A person has been famous for, what, 30 years? I'm going to say, I mean, ultimately one of the more well-known people on the planet, he's right now grasping the straws to save, save it. It's pretty much over. It, I, it's no way I could see you bouncing back. Now, you know, on the on the godly side, you got to deal with God on this one, bro. Yeah. You got to deal with the God. Cause, and then you don't even have the the wiggle room in this one where he like, you know, you can see what it's always. That's why Chris Brown has a little wiggle room Hold because on. it was an alleged fight. But I'm also yeah. But it was a, it was an alleged fight. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, and I'm not. Uh, okay. I'm not, Hold on. It wasn't I'm much. Not, it wasn't much wiggle room. We saw the fake. Yeah. Chris had them pictures come out. Yeah. But of Rihanna's face. Let me finish. What I'm saying is that it's the alleged thing. What happened? It was a fight. It was a fight. He shouldn't be fighting this girl. That's domestic. We know it's me. You're not supposed. But it's a. That's where you get the wiggle room. You get the wiggle room in that bit of forgiveness because somebody could spaz out because I'm getting attacked and you lose your mind. Ray Rice, mm -hmm. him and his wife, they get into it and he freak out and he hit her and drop her. <coughs> and you know what I mean? And that that he he hit her and drop her. That's still bad, but it was a fight. This was this was a beating. This is I am tormenting you. That girl was not trying to fight you. Literally leaving. Running. Trying to get the hell up out of here. Like, whatever was going on to make her leave, you trying to leave. Instead of being you a chased player her down. Mm -hmm. and being like, whatever that argument gone then. He chased her down. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even him pulling her. Like, it was like, I watched the video several times. There's ways he could have, you would have, okay, maybe you could have pulled her back in the day. That's not cool, but pull her. You smack her and then after she fall, you kicking her, and it, I mean, it, and then you trying to. It, it's it's all of it was very bad, very bad, and especially with him knowing that he had did it, coming out saying he did lying, even though it makes sense why he would have lied. It just to me, what I'm saying, I can't see a bounce back. I, do I see a person living their life different than what they did before? Yes, but do I see a person? Being able to even have uh, a fraction of that frame again, I don't think so. I think it's over. Absolutely not. And I hate that we keep comparing this situation to Chris Brown because it's different. And Chris Brown has, you know, paid his debt to society for yeah. the things he's done. Um, and I just hold Diddy to a higher standard, being one of the hip-hop icons that he portrayed himself to be. Um, so I hate that part. I, I wish people would stop bringing Chris Brown up. When it, when we talk about this at all, well, you secondly, have to, no, you, no, you I, don't. I, I, yeah, you do. No, you don't. Why not? Because you just you just described why it was two different situations. I didn't describe why it was two different situations, but it's a public it's a public situation that happened between two of the biggest stars in the world. Right. That so you look at a person. Let's just look at it. you look at it. I'm not again. I'm not. It is two different situations. Chris Brown at the point of when Chris Brown. That's why I said he had wiggle room. Now he can be Chris Brown and people forgive. Some people forgive, some people don't. The right. world is split on it. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, uh, because of, I said it was alleged to be a fight. But at that before, Chris Brown was at the height of human beingness. And he crashed out with that. Like, mm -hmm. he was at the height of it. So it's the same thing. Diddy, it was at the height. He was, the rebrand was crazy. He had just got some type of, what was it, generational award from MTV. Diddy knew this was all coming out, so Diddy didn't got every award you can get in the last two years. And and, and the key, I don't, I don't think he knew. I do. I, I do. think he knew this. Vi no, I think this last this video. I think he knew this video was coming out. I think he may have knew this video and like I'm not paying no more. It's the damage is done right now. I can't, I can't lose no more. I'm gonna say I'm sorry and try to li and walk away. I don't think I don't oh, think that you think he knew that video? No. I think I, I don't know. I, no, I just think the video so. put the nail in the coffin. I think everything so. else the nail he, been the, in the coffin. The every no. No, no, the nail no, no, wasn't no. In the coffin this video, the video hit different. 
this okay. video hit, hits different. It okay. hits different. That's what I'm saying. It even hits different from what we saw from Chris Brown. You saw a photo of Rihanna beat up. With this, we literally saw the demon in you in in action, in motion, in that moment. It's this is like nothing I've never seen or experienced before in my life. And to me, that's that's a whole nother level than what I felt like two young lovers got into a fight in the car. Both mm-hmm. of them admitted that they was fighting each other. Mm-hmm. Then this is totally this is yeah. a this is somebody who has victimized not just Cassie, but other people who are in lawsuits right now saying that he did even worse to them. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm like, this is different. Like, Chris, Diddy, Chris Brown, no, this this man being called a sex trafficker, a murderer, he's being accused of uh, abuse, sexual violence. Killing Chris Brown was not ex- ex- accused of none of that. No, so no. to keep bringing him into it, I'm just, as a Chris Brown fan, I, you know what I want. You know I want to hate Chris Brown. It's just, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like when we bring him up in, the, in this conversation. That's all. Okay. But I do feel sorry for Diddy's children. Most, like, Ooh. outside of the victims, the only people I feel sorry for are the children because I cannot imagine the embarrassment that they're feeling watching this happen to somebody who I'm, if we put Diddy on a pedestal and I never met the man in my life, I can imagine what kind of pedestal his children held him to. And to be, have him revealed in this way as a monster, then their mother is dead and it's speculation all around her, mur- her death that she was allegedly murdered. Like did she crack did Did he crash out King Combs' career? Absolutely. Ooh. Unless, unless, no, y'all keep... no, unless the kids turn on them. Well, here's the thing. Unless the kids turn they on them. Here's the here's thing. thing. Here, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. I Christian Combs just put out the disc record. Yeah. He the reason they put the tape out. Oh boy. Now you gonna blame the kids? I'm Christian. No, nah, come on now, Zach. Zach. Christian jumped come out on, there. Bro. Listen, y'all. I understand, <laughs> and y'all keep calling him a kid. He's grown now, so we can have a real conversation. Correct. No matter how long, how old your, how old your children? Y'all did, cannot they still like hold. Kids. Y'all cannot hold eighteen-year-old Chris Brown to the standard that y'all hold him on. But you're not gonna hold twenty-something-year-old Christian to his. What? Y'all. You ain't making sense. Yes, I no, am. You, you, the, you saying the, the same thing? No, no. What I'm trying to say is you this. Want to get your glasses? That's and stop funny. texting. Who is that? That's funny. No, you know I'm googling. Um, because I got to know how old Christian is. Your computer is in front of you. No, but it's it's dead. Oh my god. Um, it so don't matter I, how old 20, he's still his son. I understand you that. You your father. I understand that, but he's twenty six. So I'm just talking as a grown man. He's twenty six. Yes, Christian he is not twenty six. Damn, he's twenty six. So yeah, this is this is the kid still, that y'all talking about. It don't about. matter. It don't yeah, matter. See, yeah, you see no face. He's y'all still see a kid. Him. He's still a kid. Christian Combs get to be 26. He was born. Could've, I could have sworn so, that boy was 26. I just want to let you know, these kids you're talking about, Christian is 26, Justin is 30, and Quincy is 32. The only kids... 32? Yes. The Damn only the kids... Boys grew up. The only kids is them girls. No. Those are the kids. Okay. These other <laughs> grown... Okay. <laughs> so... I ain't no... <laughs> them is grown... What's wrong with you? The grown men, oh, God. one of the grown men who is the, the child of Diddy, put out a diss record, and I thought it was poor timing. You, Your dad is in all this stuff. You're telling people to pick a side, and then you're you're taunting the feds, telling them you didn't check the house next door. Oh, they, the feds said, oh, we didn't? <laughs> all right, drop the tape, because y'all playing. Why you're was the not, tape even around, it, My point is this, Kiki. Right. You're feeling sorry for people who weren't taking it as serious as they should have taken it. These are real ass allegations, and you playing on a diss record uh, with fifty talking about Fifty Cent using all these Fifty Cent. Fifty Cent is playing. Why are you messing with Fifty Cent? And why aren't you taking your dad's real life shit real? Because <laughs> as a th- these children, these are his children's act. Thank if you. nobody else believes he's a, a great man and a hero, his children probably truly believe that this man was not the monster that he is. And even if he was a monster in front of them, that's my dad. I'm going to always apologize for my parents. Kids do it all the time. You yep. have crackhead mothers, but you be like, that's my mama. I love her at the end of the day. So she just no matter stole what. everything out of somebody's car. Just... Right. <laughs> she just stole. She just stole everything out the Stole it all. And I love my, you know what I'm saying? People people f- make excuses for their parents. So at the end of the day, these are children who, can you imagine being raised by this monster? Damn. Damn. That's my thing. That's my thing. Can you imagine the intimidation that your father, if your father got grown men scared to the point where they show up every day to work and get allegedly molested? 
Can you imagine the intimidation he put or fear your children may feel from you? Yeah, I get it. So that's why I'm saying I feel sorry for the children. And then their mother is gone. That's 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 very unfortunate. And he got all the money and the power, even when she was here. It's a sad situation, but I still don't think you were taking it as serious as you as it should have been taken. You know, what well, I'm saying? even if that's your dad, you can always support your father. I'm never gonna tell somebody not to support their dad, regardless of what they do. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, for sure. But it's also ways to do it. You you know, it's people who go see their father behind the glass, and their father done murdered people, but they still ain't they ain't going out like. Oh, let me tell you, let me tell you. You think he killed him? Wait till he killed him. And they, you know, it, it was, I, I know, I know Suge Knight. You know, Sh- Suge Knight's son is a friend of mine. Oh, you know him? Yeah, that's my I friend. Suge can Knight, you he, ask him, can I interview his daddy? I really want to write his He went book. to Fist. That's my guy. And he ride for his daddy like no other. He ride for his daddy like no me other. Me too. But he also takes certain things serious. There's certain things he ain't going to talk about. There's certain things he ain't going to get. He, now, he always ride for his daddy. Follow him. I do Shug, follow him. Sure, good people. But his name is Sure? Mm-hmm. Junior. I don't believe I Shug Junior? Shug, man. Yeah. Government? Yeah, man, that's my guy. I'm, I'm not, you. not trying. I don't want no. I don't want to smoke with I'm just Shug Shug Knight. Smoke All I'm trying to with say Shug is Sure Junior, I want to smoke. I'm just saying that's nobody. an example. I'm using him as an example <laughs> okay. because that's a way for writing for your father. No, I get and it. It's in a way that still like you still take everything seriously though. I, I get it. I think what you're you jumping should... on a track, that's playing to me. I, I just think what he was doing in a, in a sense of it's what still, everybody was saying, what you just said, lying. Hey, I'm going to ride for my dad in the midst of all of this. We don't think this tape no, is coming No, my issue up. is this, bro. It's the business mind. Act. Like, it's still trying to save face from a from a uh, entertainment standpoint. That's my issue. That's it's, all they know. It's not about. That's all they know. That. It's not about. Yeah, you you take want up people your... that have lived their life and made their whole entire living off of being famous to not try to save the way that they make fa- they get money? That doesn't even make sense. With a record? It don't. It doesn't matter. Well, guess what? A record started their whole family tree of money. A record called Juicy. Notorious Big. Yeah, a record. The record has sold it. You want people to get... I get what you said from a I human... I want people to be from human. From a human. I want people to be human. Like, bro, this is serious. This is, this serious. is serious. But... Might I, not want to get in the booth and talk about 50 Cent. I, again. Not my, a good idea. Not a good idea, but... Now the next week they dropping videos. Exactly. I'm not saying what you said is, is, is wrong, brother. I'm just saying that you got to look at it from a perspective of someone that look... I'm just... It's playing devil's advocate. I'm not yeah. saying he's right, but... They literally make their money off of being famous. This is how we he made the world buy a whole vodka because he was famous. Didn't nobody give a hell about that vodka. Not a hell. You seen it a million times and thought it was yep. cheap. He started talking about it and the world bought it. So that's what I'm saying. Like it, they made their money, so they're trying to save. Face. Save the empire. Save the empire because it's crumbling. And the fact of the matter is, you look at it like Kiki said, King Combs, he kind of got a vibe. He, he was catching a vibe. It might not have been a whole vibe, but people, he was respected. He come out with a record a year. That's more than most people. He had one to go a year, and now you literally call yourself King Combs. It's no way. It's no way. you The rap career is over. You got to start acting. I don't even know if people want to see him acting. That's the craziest thing, that this mistake and this, what he's doing, and again, for the fellas, one thing, bro, it was all good just a week ago. You do one messed up thing, one and thing. the whole thing could crash out. Yeah. Woo, man, that's wild. That's, that's a lesson. Message. All right, what else we got to talk about? Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was heavy. Mm-hmm. It's a heavy, th- it's a heavy th- What's all that for? Because <laughs> I just... You you don't have no sympathy for these children. I do have sympathy for the kid. It don't sound like you. I just felt like I, you heard Kiki's feelings. She's very disappointed. That's a disappointed look. No, I told you I feel I feel who I feel this who I have sympathy for is the girls. I really have a lot of sympathy for those girls. Right, that's those true. girls are not out here trying to be famous. Mm-hmm. They're not out here. Nobody. They just going to school and trying to get their education and and, and, and keep moving. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um, <coughs> and and I think. I mean, it's it's unfortunate, but I just I felt like that was an insensitive move on my on, on 
at 26 years old and your father going through all these serious things. And that's just an insensitive play to put out a diss record telling people to pick a side on something so serious. We ain't talking about a Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef pick a side. We over here talking about real sex trafficking, real abuse, real people's lives, in the, and you talking about pick a side. What do you mean pick a side? And well, you do playing you playing with 50 Cent. Do you think that they honestly, because I think this, I think Diddy thought for a second he was getting away with this. Like for the last couple of weeks, time will tell all. He posted on Instagram, you know, he re- he putting on there, uh, they can't, he put up some little cryptic message basically saying like, I'm untouchable, they can't get me, they thought they had me, you know, all this. All of that is so not that's taking what I'm saying. Serious. But I'm saying his children might have been convinced by him that everything is clear. I'm, I really didn't do this stuff and, it's, and we good, we good to move forward. So I really think that they thought, Diddy thought he was about to get off with this. And it went the other way. It broke It broke all the way bad, bro. I, I, this is just such a heavy topic for the for the pod right now, man. It really, I just, I kind of want to switch this up okay. a little bit just because shout out to the pod fam. So I'm going to read something here that I, uh, I think maybe, or maybe switch gears. It says, I'm thicker than a snicker. I'm thicker than your ninja. Don't act like you don't know me. These yams deserve a trophy. Baby, it ain't no mystery. I got the best BBL in history. Ooh. BBL, BBL Drizzy. Drizzy. Mm. Is that BBL. the crazy? Drizzy. Why is that a thing? I don't I don't know. Like <laughs> I, I I feel, you know, I'll be speaking about victims. Somebody check on Drake. <laughs> I ain't heard a scene from Drake in months. What's going on, Zach? He need to stay still and <laughs> stay quiet. Oh, Drake. You know, I rock with Drake. I'm still a huge Drake fan. Um, but in this battle, man, the three hottest, th- three of the hottest records right now are dissing you. Like that with Future, Kendrick, and, um, and Metro. Not Metro like us. Booming. Not like us, Kendrick Lamar. And then Metro Booming got this beat, BBL Drizzy going crazy. Mm-hmm. It's... People are playing that in the club. I've heard it in the club. You saw LeBron dancing to it in the club? No, he was not. LeBron no. was dancing to it in the party. No, he was not. Yes, yeah, he, and was. he no, they he not was like not. us. He yes. danced not LeBron James. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. They, yeah, no, he was like, dancing to they not, not like, like us. us. He was you can't help it but not dance but to it's not such like a, us. It's such a dance. You gonna dance to that song. Mm. It's They're a great like song. They not like us. Cause it, I what did I say on the last part? Well, it, first of all, little Yachty is a maniac for what he said. Oh, this is why. Anymore. This is why you. Got, this is why you see a lot of famous people crashing out because they're so scared to give a real opinion and not be able to hang around their friends. Then you, they end up living delusional lives. Like me and Zach, we are living a delusional life. We are scared to tell Kiki some of the stuff because she'll get mad and leave the pot. What? Yeah, you. Li- we 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 scared of you, Kiki. What are we scared to tell Kiki? I don't know. I just want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I, Look tell at her. I'll tell her right now. Please. <laughs> nah, but uh, the Kiki can take it. I just wanted to mess with Kiki a oh. little bit because she, because oh. she, everybody keeps calling me a colonizer. I'm just trying to find a way to turn the people against her a little can bit. Can y'all please stop calling? <laughs> Whatever I say on this podcast, please do never bring it up to Tone in real life because I get my ass beat for weeks after. Man, okay? every time I, you're a colonizer, Tone? What? Every time y'all say that to him in public, I got to pay for it here. So Because he y'all goes please? out, yes. he goes out and people... Yes. Call him whatever Kiki has called him that week. And <laughs> yeah. I understand. You know what, Tone? If you need a support group, <laughs> I do call right me. Now. I feel be- I'm Are like you a on the pod? Are you right? Does your co host have a different name for you every episode? <laughs> when you go to club and you're just trying to go A, 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 <laughs> as Kiki said. Dude, somebody did that to me. <laughs> I was hosted. I was hosted. I'm hosting a party. <laughs> And a girl walked by and said, hey, Tom, I see you in your head. Oh, no. <laughs> this man can't even host in peace. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Whatever. I apologize. Do not, do not <laughs> repeat nothing off this podcast when y'all say something. Please. Oh, my Please God. continue because it's so funny. Oh, no. Please. No, this is it's it's a it's a mess. It's a mess. I forgot what I was talking about though. What were we saying? You weren't talking about nothing. Okay. You was trying to start stuff. I, was. I was like, What? Yeah, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Oh no, but, we always talk about Lil Yachty and Drake. Yeah, so you were saying that Lil Yachty did Lil, Lil Yachty said that he nobody won he, in the battle? Yeah, he said nobody won a loss. He don't think Drake won a loss. Which is the craziest That's what he's supposed to say. 
This is the same thing with King Combs. Like, y'all are delusional. Y'all want these people to go against their partners? No. Like, if that's what we doing, let me know now. Because if I get beat up in a hallway and the people on the street ask you who won, <laughs> you're supposed tie. to be like, it, it was, was a tie. tie. Yeah. It was nobody tie. won. It was a tie. Nah. Yeah. Now you're supposed to be on that. Well, actually, Kiki got ass whooped and I got video proof. Like, that's nah, not. I, I went first of all. I was like, Kiki was winning until she slipped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going there. <laughs> I'm like, Kiki was winning till she slipped. <laughs> That's a real friend. That's a real friend. Yes. She was winning till she slipped. Yes. Now it's a tie, though, because she had slipped. She had slipped. Yeah, I'm going to have a reason. In the beginning. Yeah, you had her to get it. She was winning. That's a real friend. Yeah. What do y'all want Lil Yachty to get? Drake is one of his biggest customers. You what cannot answer the question. Y'all want him to get up there and fumble his bag? His no. Bag? You don't answer the question. You don't answer the question. What I'm you like, hey man, what you, I'm like, I'm like, look, bro, you asked me that on camera. I told you I'm gonna break the whole vibe of the interview. Like, hey man, we ain't even talking about that. Why you even want to know? And and then we go, and we keeping it moving. We making music around any kind of way. Then a delusional ass answer that it makes every because when you let the delusional answer out, it makes me start thinking. I see that now. I know why nobody plays real defense on you when you win MVP seven times in a row at your own basketball. I like Drake. Drake can't play basketball, I can shoot. Yeah. But he but I, I just if I don't, I'm Lil Yachty, I don't know. Your give real a damn friends you gotta keep it a buck with you. I don't that's for me and Drake at the kitchen table at my house. Okay. It's not for the podcast. That's I don't true. care what Tone Capone think if I'm Lil Yachty. I got to make sure Drake know that I'm his man's. I got him. <laughs> and you won in my book. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't wanna start nothing again. Uh, yeah. So that's why I just said it was a tie, Zach. That's how you gotta hold your man's down. You can't. I, I don't care about what the people think. If I see Tone fall if, and he get beat up, he won. He no. won. They like he be a damn liar. I ain't, getting beat, up. Like, I, I ain't yeah. getting beat up. Yeah. Oh so God. I. But that's what you have to say as your I'm homie. Running. Yeah, you do though. He had Yachty had to have his back. Yeah. He did. He did. But I just thought. I think that was a good answer though because he mm, said that's a bad answer. What did he say? It wasn't no winner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's a way of like <laughs> it's a draw. That's a tie. That's a way of saying it's a tie, and it wasn't no winner, man. It, wasn't no winner. it really wasn't no winner, and to be honest, it was close. It was a close. It was a close race. And don't get me started on Drake getting jumped because that Cause was he, him. He, he got really jumped. Got jumped because he got jumped. Family Matters is a really really good record, but it kind of got overshadowed by They Not Like Us. Yes, but. Family Matters is really, really good. It's not weak at all. It's really good. No, yeah. And then They Not Like Us is just the smash hit that took everything up. Both of them put out two weak records. Both of them did. Yeah. 616 in LA that Kendrick put out, that was trash. Mm -hmm. And then that, the one after They Not Like Us that Drake put out. You don't even know the name. Terrible. That was yeah, terrible too. I don't even know the so name. they both put out two trash records. It was it's it was close. And then, boom, They Not Like Us just took it over. Not Like so Us is crazy. It, it wasn't like a. It wasn't a slaughter. It wasn't a beatdown. You know what I'm saying? He fought. He held his ground. He probably turned. He turned red. It's not about because he light skinned like you. So I was saying like <laughs> he was red. <laughs> that wasn't this. You are light skinned, but you African. You the blackest man in here. <laughs> now that's delusional. <laughs> you my guy. Black tone. That's what I'm gonna start calling you. <laughs> Black Tony. Black Tony. I had to come in here. Black ass Tony. I'm, I'm fighting for my life in here. I'm be like, what's up, man? I, I'm oh like, my God. Who like, you with? Like me, Ryder, Kiki, and Black, 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 Black Tony? Tony. <laughs> Who is Black Tony? Black Tony. Y'all not coming to my birthday party. I'm yeah, like, we are. Oh, I'm coming to that damn birthday that? party. Can we please? Because I, for the last two years, been getting my ass beat on this podcast because I don't go out with Tony. I don't come out. I don't go to his parties. I don't do this. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, she I had a Tony. She threw my, a Tony. She <laughs> I <did>. changed <laughs> my flight to be at this birthday party. So I don't want to hear miss it. This one. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Flight to where? Where are you going? Dallas. We're going to Dallas for? See a man about a dog. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Some sex? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just say you haven't said it. <laughs> oh, God. No. No. No, no, no. You can get flued out. You can get flued <laughs> out. To the Go dog. see a man about a dog. I know Texas me in love plus size women, too. Oh, you know it. <laughs> you said, like, bring your squishy ass down here, girl. Down. We about to me. go. 
No. Yeah. No, guys. Yeah. No, no, no. I want to see a man about a dog. <laughs> I'm like, what? No, that's just what parents used to say when you asked them. Right. What that's what my single mama used to say when I would be at my cousin's house. Mama, why I got to go to my cousin's house? Go see a man about a dog. Okay. Uh-huh. Now I know. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going for a birthday party. Mm-hmm. For another birthday party. All my family is, y'all all got, it's real stressful around here around this time. Like, y'all need to pick another day. You, my brother, and my best friend all have the exact same birthday. The 24th? The 24th. That's oh, crazy. that's cold. Yes. They dope. You know what I mean? You know how stressful it is dealing with Gemini's? All On of y'all? Birthday. Oh, my God. They love their birthday. They love it. They, but then they hate everything. Like, it's like a they two two people at the same time. No, so we can ready to party our face off. This is going to be something so. else. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Thursday. I, I just want to let y'all know I called off work already, too. Same. I'm off. So okay. I'm off Friday. I'm off Friday, too. So. So, so yeah, it's going to be, so it's so a, be a lot of it's fun. It's a good weekend. Ryder, you coming to Tone Party? He said right. he can. All right, Ryder, come on. Ryder in that thing. Ryder, you in there, man. Everybody be like, that was like, that's Ryder. Ryder, you might, Ryder, you going to go home with something, Ryder, baby. Ryder, you like it. <laughs> I'm going to put on you. Hey, Kiki. <laughs> Kiki. She so come up. I'm like, hey, here you go. This is Ryder. <laughs> like, there you go, Ryder, yeah. you good. <laughs> or what we do is put Kiki Nasty Friend on you. Wait a minute. What? Are you, you bringing your nasty friend? Are you bringing I'm her? not bringing nobody, but I'm bringing not a nasty friend. Okay. No. Who you, this, huh? who you bringing? Uh, probably Ryan. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, no. Uh, Ryan going to keep Kiki mm-hmm. gin drinking ass in check. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do you have any gin on ice? He better. No, nah, <laughs> we gonna have to. We gonna. That's the only thing we gonna have to do. Kiki yeah. gonna sit at the table. We gonna sit because I sold y'all table. That I was gonna get y'all, so y'all gotta sit with me amongst okay. the crazy. crazy. We have no seat. This is why I don't go out with him. No, no gotta, y'all got a seat. Y'all no, got a no, seat. No, 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 no. Y'all got a seat no, at my no, table. No, no, we we, we that's better. what I'm talking about. Last week he was like, I got a table for y'all. Now this week he just sold our table. So well, now, Zach yeah. said he wanted. Zach said y'all wanted. To, I asked Zach. Zach said. We want to sit with you. I said, cool. Zach, don't speak for me. I don't want to be nowhere near you. <laughs> and now, we're going to have to sit and we don't have no seat. Tom, this is why I don't go out with them. Because it's not going to. Tom, Kiki, gonna you're, he Kiki, don't know you, us. All right, now, wait a minute. So, look. This is the first thing. Let's oh, get this God. straight. Kiki and Zach are a lot better uh, popularity standard in the city than they used to be. So, you know, <laughs> people are going to see y'all that go crazy. They already, you they ain't been out. It's the first time they're going to touch the people, That's Kiki. your crowd. My crowd is at the aid office. That's where they, they where recognize they the, aid, the aid office. Down there at the aid, you don't even know what that is. What's That's the aid office? That's where you're going to get your link card, okay? They know me down at the aid office, the grocery store down at the Pete's, you know, the Pete's Fresh Market, the Food for Less. That's my audience, Okay. Your audience is in the nightclub. My audience is not at your club. So nobody knows me in the nightclub. They better cut not... Kiki. I'm telling you, you gotta y'all get there to not... win. It's gonna be crazy in there, My, man. I'm excited. It's, it's gonna we be know crazy. You excited. I'm gonna be like, you gonna this fit is in wherever you go. Party. Zach, you gotta be in charge because I'm gonna be I'm a host. You had to be in charge of getting all Kiki's gin t- cocktails. I won't be caught I dead. I will get all of gin. I okay, I will be on Kiki's gin. Cause I'm drinking Hennessy. I Hennessey know you're table. drinking ho- nothing but Hennessy, but I'll have to get up. I'm like, Kiki, would you like another gin? Yes. And I'm like, okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Here you go. I'm gonna bring you two at a please, time. Please. Would you like another gin? And I'm gonna be like, Kiki, I think you've had too many. <laughs> I think you've had too many gins. I think you've had too After many one, gins. Though. <laughs> After one, Kiki, they won't give me no more gins. <laughs> they said you gotta go get them now. You gonna be embarrassed. You are. Yeah. Man, that, you go yeah. on like, uh, excuse me. Uh, let me get two jeans. Let me get two jeans. <laughs> what? <laughs> they gonna have to move bottles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know we're still here somewhere. That's <laughs> two crazy. bumpy faces. Damn. That's so crazy how y'all do that. That is crazy. You got your touch of red, Kiki? Yeah. You with a touch of red. Okay. That's how you know you're going to a baby boomer party. They want you to wear a touch of red. <laughs> One thing about black folks, they always want to tell you what to wear. Hey, now you could have just said party. I'm dressed in red. Nah, he wanted a touch of red, a henna black. Put your gaiters on. <laughs> I hate a party that tell me what I got to wear. <laughs> what you get to do? <laughs> <laughs> you know Tom thought he did his bit.
big one when he put that on there. I did. I did. I did. He said I was off an edible when I came up with it in the back of an Uber. Oh I was God. like, man, it's a lot of all black parties oh, popping man. up. I was like, you don't want to do all white. All whites fail. I was like, I was like, ooh, and it's about to I said, a touch of red. <laughs> I definitely thought I did my big one. Put the font. Put the make you make the touch of red. Put that in red font for the invite. Oh God, yes, Tom. I will have my touch of red. I will have my touch of red. Okay, Zach, you got your touch of red. Yeah, man. All right, cool. All right, final thought. So funny. Wrap this thing up. I don't know. I hope to see y'all at Tone Party. Okay, and if you can't get in, we probably gonna be outside together anyway. We can go (laughs) down to the to the neighborhood bar where we hang out usually. Um, but yeah, a happy birthday to you. Thank you. Will we pie before his birthday? No, not. No, we won't. No, we going to the party in two days. Yeah, yeah. So that ain't his birthday though, right? It's oh, Friday. Yeah, birthday. His birthday is Friday. Friday. Okay. So we yeah. So happy birthday. Early. The pie drops. When is it, yeah, well yeah. Pie yeah. drops. Yeah, they'll be yeah. up. The new pie to be up. The clips will be up. So happy birthday, my thank brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm you, there, you sister. Many, many more. I'm gonna get you some of them chips. You like what they call? No. Y- y'all tried the curly. You can- y'all ever heard of the curly red? What do you call The Evans. <laughs> now, back money, we had Evans. Evans. I hate you. Tom, eat flaming hot pork skin. <laughs> I did, though. <laughs> I did. They got flaming hot pork skin? Now, your country ass, you ain't never had no flaming hot pork skin. I've had, I've had barbecue. Oh. I've had the, they got a flaming hot. They got, well, it's not flaming hot, but it's, it's hot, hot pork skin. Yeah, yeah, I've had hot pork skins before. Yeah. They, they're, they're good. Oh, they're good. They're crunchy. God. Mm-hmm. So yeah, happy birthday! I'm gonna get you some of them pop. Thank you. What else you want for your birthday? You can't get it. What you do can't... you buy your rich friends for their birthday? Who's rich? You, I didn't say who could buy what you buy your poor friend for birthday. Zach, what you get Tom for his birthday? Well, listen, man, I know exactly what I'm getting Tom for his birthday. Come on, what? It's Nothing. A surprise. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you. Something. We have to start getting gifts on this pod. We, we gotta, do gotta start giving gifts, but you know. <laughs> Don't let him tell him. Don't let him tell us we gotta start getting gifts. He the only one could afford a gift. No. <laughs> Oh, well, let me not yeah. speak for you. Well, no, I know you was trying to no take money. baths, too. I ain't got no money. <laughs> I, I just want y'all know. I just gave y'all a whole broke etiquette. That was fresh. And I, oh, and I took a page out your book. I brought you tacos today. You did. Because I, I know talking. at the party, I ain't got no money. So you're going to have to get the drinks. I'll get you a drink. So I started, you said get the food. If you could afford that, and then knock out the what you can knock out as a broke friend. Don't forget that today your broke friend bought you tacos. You know, instead of you got a friend in me, you got a gin on me. (laughs) (laughs) You got a gin on me. (laughs) You you got a gin on me. (laughs) Bumpy face. Who's the old soul on on the pod now? Like an old ass pimp making a song out of anything. (laughs) <laughs> and oh, this God. fool over here laughing at you. <laughs> you don't remember that from it. Toy Story? I, I mean, from. Uh, you know he ain't seen Toy Story. Child. You ain't seen no Toy Story? You didn't oh, watch Toy Lord. Story? I did. That man ain't seen it. For my kids. Story. All right, let's get hot in here. Come on, big final thoughts. Where you get that African Street Festival fan <laughs> from? <laughs> <laughs> That came with a head wrap and a guy shiki. If you don't put that. <laughs> she, Not got, too much. she got the Nigerian <laughs> style fashion. <laughs> Kiki going to Texas, Dallas, and she got a Nigerian <laughs> fan. I know when you're messing with a Nigerian. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh that's man. That's my fan. It's hot. That fan is hilarious. <laughs> Come on, man. Get final thoughts. That's it, man. That's it. I'm done. All right. I will guys. see y'all. You can see uh I'm in here with two crazies. <laughs> They're literally crazy, and I'm lucky to come out alive every day. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Hey, make sure you keep sharing the pod. Thumbs up. Share, share, share on uh, YouTube. Share, share, share on Instagram. Make sure you tell more people about the pod. We appreciate Please. all the pod fam and the new pod fam. Don't they come keep- into the building and stay and love it. We appreciate all y'all. And like we always say, what more can we say? <laughs>